Organic SRI provides the best solution to the problem. By reducing flooding of rice fields, methane emissions are minimized. Furthermore, by reducing inputs of chemical nitrogen fertilizers, nitrous oxide emissions are minimized. Organic SRI pays particular interest in the nurturing of soil microbial abundance and diversity that contributes to both healthier soil and plants. It is based on a number of agroecological principles with good scientific foundations. Untuk pengolahan tanah agar sehat, kita bisa menggunakan For healthy, fertile field soil preparation, we can apply green manure. Here's an example of green manure. It's called Crotalaria jungsea. It's a seasonal legume, efficiently used for its nitrogen fixing ability. Nitrogen is stored well in its roots. It's planted in the third season of the rice planting cycle, after two seasons of rice. Crotalaria jungsea, used at our SRI research station, grows upright as a herb, reaching 120 centimeters by 60 days growth and 180 centimeters by 90 days. By about 40 days, it will yield a wet biomass of 23 tons per hectare. It's harvested at the age of 35 to 40 days while the stems are green. It's cut down and plowed into the soil to improve organic abundance in the field. When SRI is introduced in a plot surrounded by non-SRI paddy under continuous plot-to-plot -plot irrigation, digging temporary field ditches is quite effective to control water flow in a plot. The location and number of outlets to be constructed and crossing levees will be determined based on lot size, shape and irrigation discharge. In order that good quality seed is used, a selection process is recommended. Irregardless of the source of the seeds, whether self-produced or purchased as quality seeds and so labelled. This is done with a salt and water solution as follows. Fill a container with water and mix salt stirred well in it. The required amount of salt will be evident when a duck egg is able to float in that solution. Place rice seeds into the solution and stir gently. Remove seeds that float. These are inferior in, in quality and are not to be used. The seeds that sink to the bottom of the container are the ones to be used and should be washed of the salt in clear water.
seed soaking and aeration. After seed selection, the next step is as follows. 1. The good quality seed that has just been selected is soaked in clear water for a period of 24 to 48 hours. 2. Following that soaking step, the seeds are aerated but covered with light leaf covering for another 24 to 48 hours until the seeds begin to sprout. Seedling Media Preparation Seedling preparation and planting according to SRI method does not have to take place in the field. Instead, plastic containers or bamboo trays can be used, which will provide easier ways to transport, separate and transplant seedlings in the field. The seedling media preparation is as follows. 1. Use seeds that are the regular choice that are of good quality. 2. Media trays or containers are covered with banana leaf that has been softened with slight wilting. A mixture of soil and compost in a ratio of 1 to 1 is placed in the container over the leaf up to 4 centimetres high. Three, the seeds are evenly distributed over that mixture and covered with a thin layer of soil. menyemai di sawah media persemaian ini kita susun rapi seperti ini dan usahakan harus kena sinar matahari Selamat mencoba dan semoga sukses dengan SRI.